Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode, I am continuing my episodes on the toolbar here. And in this episode, we're going to be covering the hand tool. You can select the hand tool simply by hitting that shortcut, the letter H there. So if I hit H, it will select my hand tool. There's a couple functions that are really nice with the hand tool. First of all, the, the basic function here is for use on the timeline. If you're zoomed into a portion of your timeline, right now I'm not looking at my entire timeline here. This is just a portion of it. If you hit that, first of all, it's really helpful to know the commands plus and minus on the top of your keyboard and then the slash above the return key or the enter key, the large enter key. What the plus and minus does is as you plus, it zooms in. As you minus, it zooms out. And as you hit the slash above the return key, it zooms out to, to reveal your entire timeline. So if I'm zoomed up on my timeline here, I'm going to hit plus, plus, plus a few times, and I want to look at a different portion of my timeline. If I'm on my arrow tool here, on my selection tool here, uh, what you can do is quickly just hit the letter H for your hand tool, and you can just reach anywhere in this window, whether it's on the clips or up here, and just grab and drag, and it will show different portions of your timeline. I kind of don't use this a lot in this regard just because uh, I've, I've gotten used to just using my shortcuts. If I need to jump between edits, I'll use my arrows up and down. If you hit arrow down, it will jump to edits to the right. And if you hit arrow up, it will jump to edits to the left. So I, And then if I need to get somewhere quickly, I'll navigate by hitting my slash above my enter key. And I can quickly just move. If I'm looking for something toward the end here, I can just click over here and find what I'm looking for really quickly. So, But the hand tool is still, is still uh, handy. <laughs> So by just by hitting H, you can just grab this and move it around. But uh, uh, the way I use it a lot more, though, is up in this window. If you just move your mouse over this and move, try to drag it, do anything, it will not do anything. But if you're zoomed up on this, right now, my image is fitting to the space that's, uh, that's available in my program monitor. And that is done by uh, clicking on this little function here. You can zoom up. If I want to, you can zoom out if you want to. Zoom out, that's 10% of the, of, of the view there. If I zoom in... Go to like 200%, then it's going to zoom way in. So that's a way, way zoomed in. So that's 100% zoomed in. It just it really depends on what the, the resolution of your image is that you're scaling will be proportional to uh, the percentage here. So if I go to like 50%, then it starts to zoom out. But if you want to fit that back to the screen when you're done, you just hit uh, the fit. And uh, what I like to do, rather than do, do this, I like to use shortcuts to zoom in and out of this. And Premiere Pro doesn't have program shortcuts. This is where the hand tool is um, handy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is when you zoom in and you need to see a different portion of your screen. If you're under your hand tool, you can grab this and move it around like this and look at different portions of the screen here. Especially if you're doing something like a mask on, on a certain object inside your screen here. Let's go under editing, go under effect controls. I'm going to select this clip here and we're going to go to the effect controls and let's do an opacity mask. I'm going to use my pen tool here to free draw the mask around. Uh, I don't know, like this little mountaintop right here. Let's do a quick mask. Right here, but if you're really trying to nitpick this and get up closer to see where the edge of your mask is, uh, you can go down here and use the zoom tool like this, go to like 100%. And then with the hand here, let's deselect the opacity. You can move over the screen here. I uh, hit the letter H for the hand, and you can move what you're looking at. So then when you bring up your mask, you can easily make changes to your mask here. Now you're able to get closer and, and take a closer look at it. So what I prefer to do is to let's put this back to fit. Here, and I'm going to go up to Premiere Pro and go to my shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. And under this, you just type in the, the word zoom, and it will bring up in all your zoom options here. And for some reason, they don't have a shortcut program to zoom into your monitor or zoom out. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to click in shortcut, and I'm going to do, I like the, the shortcut command minus and command plus. To zoom in, I'm going to do command minus. These are old Final Cut Pro shortcuts, and also DaVinci Resolve has adopted these for zooming in, zooming out, and, and zooming to fit the monitor within the screen here. So I'm going to hit command plus to zoom in, because that uh, that shortcut's not being used in Premiere. I'm going to go to my zoom monitor out, click down here to add a shortcut, and now I'm going to do command minus to add the shortcut to zoom out, and then uh, zoom monitor to fit. The old, final, old school Final Cut Pro shortcut is shift Z, and that's the same on DaVinci Resolve that has adopted those shortcuts, as I mentioned. I'm going to click in here. I'm going to do Shift Z to add that shortcut. Now that makes it really convenient if you're doing compositing. As long as you're in your program monitor, my program monitor is highlighted here. I can hit hold down Command, and if you're on a PC, I, I would say do Control Plus and Control Minus is the same, basically the same thing. So I'm going to do Control Plus, Control Plus, Control Plus, and we can zoom in here. Now if you hit H for your hand tool, you can just grab this and move it. Uh, and very very convenient there. And then if you hit Shift Z, it will zoom back out, and that way you don't have to go and do this drop-down menu and select certain percentages. You can just do it incrementally by doing Command Plus, Command Minus, and then Shift Z to zoom it back into there. And that's where the hand tool comes in. Um, what's a synonym for handy? 
because I don't want to make the joke a third time, but you get it. So that's essentially where the hand tool is um, quite effective, is in uh, using it in your timeline here when you zoomed up on your timeline just to move around like this. And also when you're in a zoomed mode up here, if you're doing some sort of compositing, yeah, I, I like, once again, I'm using my shortcuts, command plus, command plus, command plus, and oh, look, now I can spy on somebody. And then I use my hand tool to move around the screen to the portion of the screen that I want to see. So in the next episode, I'll be going over the zoom tool and that will conclude this series on the toolbar.